Hello, <laughs> Mr. Ed here. Today is June 14th, Monday morning. Me and Charlie out here early again because it's supposed to. We're supposed to get into the upper 90s today, and we want to get out of here early as we can. So we're here early, and the bees. I think they're ready for us. And speaking of the bees, the mosquitoes are here too, boy. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. The bees are going to be in the area of the soffit right here. The bees are in the soffit. They're right up in there. And you can see where they're clustered right up in there. So, Because I really don't want to tear that building up. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Boy, these mosquitoes are bad. Uh, the way that this is constructed, it's just a water uh, pump shed. Um, and the way the building is constructed, the, the roof rafters, they just come down and the soffit is attached to the bottom of it. So it's all open, that space is open. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get up inside of the shed and I'm gonna spray the honey bandit up inside of there and try to push these bees out. But before we start, let's go ahead and shoot the flare and get y'all a image of what these bees look like. Now that's what our bees look like inside of that soffit. It's not a really big space so if you look at the little dots on the bottom of that soffit right there that's the end of where the hive is and it runs from there all the way to the edge right there and what my plan is is to come on the inside of the building at this point right there shoot our honey bandit push the bees out to where they're coming out. And let me show you where they're coming out. There they are, right there. And we're gonna run them out of that spot, right there, and we'll start vacuuming our bees uh, from this spot. Well, that's the plan. And, you know, plans, they don't always go according to what we hope they go. But that's the plan, that's how we're gonna attack this one. By the grace of God, we'll get these bees out here. They're going to come up to the abbey. We're going to treat this hive just like a brand new swarm. We'll feed them, put drawn comb for them, but we're going to get them situated up at the abbey and out of this little pump house. So let's wrangle bees, huh, Charlie? Let's wrangle. Let's go. So I pull the paper back a little bit, and I'm just going to shoot a bunch of honey bandit up in there. And hopefully, I'm put, then I'll put this back up, and they're going to be running to the outside. Here we go. I can hear them. There you go, we closed them in. <laughs> it sounds like a freight train in there. I know, it gets corked up now. <laughs> Anything coming out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, plan B. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take that side off. That it, I don't know how come the, the honey, I must not have been getting it right in the exact spot I need to get it in. So I'm gonna have to wind up taking off the, the fascia anyway and see what happens. So let's go ahead and take the fascia off. Even though I didn't want to, we're gonna try to do that. Gotta get that piece of wood off of there, Charlie. Yep. <laughs> well, we finally got where the bees are, huh? Brand new comb, these bees, uh, just a matter of weeks they've been here. I don't see, I mean, I see some brood in there. I don't see much capped honey, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna be treating these bees like a swarm anyway. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start removing some of this comb and getting that basket going.
that's what you call high beetles. And to see this many beetles on that, comb like this, right. oh, that's not... Not good. No, these these things can kill a hive. They rip, they're, they're robbing they're, it, right? No, they don't rob it. They lay eggs, and ah. then the larva that hatches are by the thousands, and they'll just overrun the hive. Ah. This comb, absolutely, as far as trying to salvage the comb for the bees, so get that. that's not going to be a problem. You see, so you have the larva right. here, uncapped larva. Now you have pollen, which they call bee bread, and then nectar. Now you can see how it's just dripping. dripping off. So that that's the the moisture content in the nectar isn't low enough to keep, once, it, in place. To keep it in place. So once once it dries out, it will become honey and it will drip so easily. So if I shake this, it'll probably come out. Yeah, it's dripping out. <laughs> it's dripping out. I was wondering why the bees weren't on the comb, but it makes a lot of sense. When I sprayed that honey bandit down at this end, it did push the bees, but instead of pushing them outside like we wanted, it pushed them up that rafter. So you can see I got this comb and the outside removed. I'm gonna try to remove that little block right there to access that area. Because as you can see, there's comb behind that. And then our bees are gonna be located <laughs> somewhere along that that plywood as it's going up that rafter. So I'm gonna struggle and get that, that piece of blocking out right now and that will be able to give me a little bit better access to that. Now I've, re I've removed the little scab board and now we can get to the rest of our comb. And once I remove that, I can see the bees back there. I don't know if the camera can see it but there's a big cluster of bees back there. So let me finish removing this comb, and then we'll get show you what those bees look like. Well, <laughs> there's our bees right there. That is a big old cluster of bees. I'm gonna vacuum a lot of them first. And hopefully I won't vacuum that queen up in there. But it's easier if I just vacuum and then use the honey robber and chase them on out of there. folks. Now there's a few more bees still in here and I put my queen resting her right here to draw these bees in here. I mean for the most part I got 99% of the bees. All right we're gonna do one more vacuum and then I'll show you the bees in that nasty comb that I pulled out of here that we're gonna be just feeding our bees and keeping that wax. Well another successful wrangle job. Wasn't too bad. The, uh, the hardest part, again, 
just getting to those bees. Yeah, oh, getting you know, cut out. Yeah, once yeah. once once I decided that and I tried not to take apart the fascia and soffit, but I really didn't have an option on it. I tell you, at the end, when those bees were coming out, I felt like I was at the arcade with that mallet hitting that gophers on the head, you know, bam, 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 right. trying to move that hose, trying to get those bees. I mean, they were just charging out of there. Like I had sprayed the honey bandit in there, but I never did. What happened was I had just knocked down the numbers so much, and I saw the queen in that mass of bees. I saw her, her butt glowing like a low uh, light bulb, and I saw her, I said, Charlie, I see her up in there. And when I did, I started vacuuming on the other side of where I saw her, knocking those numbers down, and I got the numbers down so so much, they just like freaked out and they started running. They were running everywhere. They were. I, I don't know if the camera, because it was so dark and it was really like about four feet up inside yeah. of that rafter area. And I so I tried getting some of that, you know. I hope I can get some of that because they, they were crazy in there. They, they, yeah, they were. They, they really, really were. did. But they're in the back of the van now and now they're headed up to the Abbey. So you got, what do you got? Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. And good time, Charlie. We're out until the next video. When we brought the bees up here to the Abbey, because this comb that I'm squeezing right now was their comb, there's no way we could, could use this comb. You saw all the beetles that were in here, and there's no way there's probably beetle larva eggs in there. So. Because it's so soft, you couldn't have framed any of this stuff up. So we gave them a whole box of drawn comb. Actually, it was a honey super, and it had lots of honey in it already, lot, but there's a lot of space in there for the queen to start laying, because you know she was laying as well. So she'll get, get busy laying, but I didn't want to waste all this nectar, honey. So I'm just crushing it and straining it, and then this stuff is going to be fed right back to them. They're going to get their own honey back. And I just, all I do is I put it in a quart jar and invert it on top of the inner cover that's got a hole in it. And they just get up there and they start draining the jar out. I mean, it's some pretty comb like this. I mean, you actually got some cat honey. That's a privet I can taste because it's real light and sweet. But well, that's a lot of uncapped. And the bees don't mind my germs. And that's good, pretty good honey. I'm trying not to, I don't want to get any of this brood that's in there. I'm just trying to get the, the, the nectar so just I won't be able to squeeze that or else it'll get in my honey like I got a little bit in there already. Like a piece like this. That's all nectar. It's beautiful stuff. And when it's soft like that, look at that. Crush and strain. Perfect. Let's get out of here.